right, hi, uh, my name is Peter Coffey, this is Glen Allen High School, and this is my first period uh, Algebra two Honors class. And today we're going to be working with uh, quadratic equations. All right, you guys, so we started this last class, and we're going to kind of continue today. We're going to start with a warm-up, and then we're going to do a classwork that involves uh, a classroom activity that we've done before called Around the Room. Uh, Okay, so let's get started. Be sure to talk to each other in your groups, right? Work together, all right? Okay, so first warm-up question is that. Now, your task here, and we've done this before, it's been a while, but your task here is to come up with a reason why one of these doesn't belong. And once you've done that, come up with a reason why a different one doesn't belong. And then the next one and the next one. Your goal is to have a reason why each one of those four things doesn't belong with the other three. Make sense? Let's go. All right. So right now, talk to each other in your groups. Come up with a reason why this one's different from the others. Come up with a reason why this one is different. Come up with a reason why that one and that one. OK? You guys want to, are you going to talk to each other? Do you want to split up the task or do you want to work, are you working we're, just each we're talking. We're talking. individual? We're okay. Talking. I said the blue one is the only one with a conjugate. Oh, like, 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 wait, difference of perfect square? No, difference of perfect squares would be minus four, I think. So together, do you have four yet? No. Okay, so you might want to share. Looks like he's got different ones, right? Gotham's got four different things. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, um, red, 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 Let's go, let's go. Come up with something for each of them. All right, folks, together now. Uh, let's start with your table, and then, as I said, we're going to go around the room. Give me a reason. Pick a square and come up with why it doesn't belong, and then we'll just keep going around. We'll go around as far as we as many times as we can. Red. Red. What about the red? It's the, the only one with Y's, okay. The only subtraction. Um, green is the only one you do with grouping. This one, you, what do you mean you do with grouping? Like the factoring? Yes, you factor by grouping, yeah. Keep it coming. Uh, we're gonna we'll come around to you. Grouping. What do you think? Green. The green one is the only one that has a GCF in it. The green one, only, only one that has a GCF. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Okay. It does or doesn't? Doesn't. Have a GCF. doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So no GCF. Cool. Let's keep coming around. All right, so it has a number for a GCF. What is that number? Two. So in other words, we can pull out two from that and get x squared plus two, two inside. OK. And so that's the only one that has a number there. Let's keep coming around. Uh, black is also the only one with one thing remaining. So we would have two x squared. OK, so only one variable or a, a variable in one term. Does that make sense, folks? Right? All the rest of them have variables in, in each of the terms or more than one term. Variable in one term. Let's keep going. Green's the only one that has a cube in it. Right. 
only cube. Let's keep going. Not a binomial. Not binomial. What's a binomial? Um, two. two terms, right? Cool. Nice. Keep coming. Uh, I do believe black is prime. But it's what do you mean by it's prime? Like it's a uh, plus a square root, which is But if it's prime, then it can't be factored. So, no, yes, take it off, leave it on. Is your point that that can't be factored? No, the, I'm just using myself now. I, it's okay. I don't even know, just leave it on. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on, I'll put it in parentheses. All right, and if anyone wants to add to that. Okay. So that's prime. OK. Would, would that be the case if I do it with the other ones, though, if we factor out a GCF? It would be the true with, with all the others, right? In other words, if I pulled out y here, that would be y plus 2 inside. Isn't that going to be prime? Would that be true of here as well? OK. Yeah, you can't factor it any further. Exactly. OK. Yes. That's. I think our point. Uh, another idea? Something else? Anything else? Anything else to add? No? No? Yeah? Addition of perfect squares. So that's, is, that, is this a perfect square? <laughs> the x squared is, but with the two, does it, does that, so that's a, the x squared is a perfect square and that's a perfect square, but the two isn't. Okay. Okay. Anything else? All right, you guys. So think back to last class. I have a question for you. What's the big idea that allows us to solve this equation? Take a minute and talk to each other. Some of you weren't here, but what's the big idea? What am I, I'm fishing here. I'm fishing for something. What did we, what did we talk about last class as being the big idea? Talk it over with your group. Talk it over with your group. If you have no idea, get, just talk it over. See if you can come up with something. Okay, you guys, let's, let's talk it out now. S someone have an idea what I'm fishing for here? What I term the big idea when we're trying to solve an equation like this? Yeah, Alex. You have to make uh, one side equal to zero. You have to make one side equal to zero. Why? In other words, if I have this equation here versus this equation, I think this is what you're getting at. Yeah, no. What do I know in this equation? Be specific with this problem. A, a or B has to equal zero. Why? Because uh, zero times anything equals zero. Because zero times any ah zero times anything is equal to zero. So one of these two things has to be zero, right? But over here. This could be 2, this could be 3, this could be 1, this could be 6. Others? It could be 3 and 2. This could be 6 and 1. Others? Negative 3 and negative 2. Thank you, Braden. Right? And so on and so on and so on. Are there, can we just keep going if we use fractions and negative numbers and so on and so on? Right? But over here, is this always true? Alex, stay with me, right? 
That's the key, right? That's the big idea. So if you have zero, so put it again, what, you, what do you have to do? Yeah, you gotta have zero on one side. You gotta make one side equal to zero. And so if we have an equation that's written like that with zero on one side, can everyone tell me the answers? Tell me the solutions. In other words, what are the x values here? Tom one. Brady. So x equals 2, x equals 2, and x equals negative 5. And why is that? If I were to put 2 into here, what will I get in this parentheses? 0. And 0 times anything gives you 0. So we know that that works. And over here? Yeah, because if you put that negative 5 into there, we know that it will turn that into 0. That's the big idea here, folks, okay? And so you have to do what Alex is saying and get zero on one side. So in this case, then, Alex, back to you. You subtract the six. Subtract the six on both sides. And you get on the left? Uh, H squared minus six equals zero. Okay, and then what do we need to have? What do we need to have so that we can figure out what x is, or in this case, what a is. We have to have it look like this, right? This times this equals 0. We've got to have that a times b equals 0. So what do we need to do with that? Factor it. So I, on your boards, factor and solve. All right, well, I pass these papers out. Christian, thank you so much for volunteering, is going to write up on the board. Get an answer before he does. Hmm? Yeah, just go help yourself. Throw that one out. There's more than one. You got a factor, right? How would you know if you got it right? plus what, x minus what, figure it out. Yeah. We'll check in our head. Okay, you guys, I'm going to push us along. Christian has, has uh, gone through the process here. So he factored into, he took the a squared minus a minus 6, and he factored into a, pl a minus 3, a plus 2. Liam, be with me. All right, you guys, let's focus up here. Make sense? Factored into those. Foil to check if you need to. And then what makes a minus 3 equal to 0? Positive 3. What makes a plus 2 equal to 0? Negative 2. How could we make sure we're right? Well, FOIL will check, will check that. Yeah. Check, check, so check our solutions where? On the original equation. So what would that look like? Which one do you want to check? We'll check one of them to save some time. Hmm? Three. So if I plug in three into this original equation, it'll look like three squared minus three equals six. What's three squared? Nine. And nine minus three? is 6, right? And so we get 6 on this side, we get 6 on that side. What do we know then? Then that is correct. And we would do the same thing with negative 2. Let's go ahead and do it. 
So if I put in negative two and square it and then take away negative two, this is a little tricky because of the signs, we should get six. We just have to be careful of the signs here, right? So negative two squared, positive four, right? Because it's negative two times negative two, so that's positive four. And then subtracting negative two is the same thing as adding two, right? And so on, on the left we get six, on the right we get six. We know that that solution is correct as well. Okay? Yeah. Thank you for joining our class. Go Jags. <laughs>